Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. Let's continue in our glorious campaign to restore the Persian Empire. So last episode, um, I believe it was last episode, the Shia Caliph decided to throw a jihad my way. But of course, we are winning because they don't have a lot of um, Shia allies. In fact, they have none. They have negative number of Shia allies. So I think we can win this fairly easily. We just need to manage our troops. Well, you know, a little bit. Should be good. Give away some honorary titles. Let's get another commander. A lot of them are my are my council, so I can't really do that, unfortunately. Um, yeah, let's get you there. Yeah, let's just chase down their armies. One by one. Should be easy enough. Come on, come on. Except I don't think I gain anything from uh, winning jihads except for like moral authority and whatnot, which isn't all that amazingly useful for me right now. But, eh, whatever. Oh shit, I just took a huge attrition penalty there. And then right in the middle of that, I have a peasant revolt. A destitute noble from a former enemy uh, court asked for permanent hospitality. I can't. I don't have the money to spend on you right now, buddy. My council is discontent. I think it's because of the succession. I don't think it's due with anything particular. Shoot, I took a lot of, like, um, attrition hits there. Shit. I hate that. I hate attrition penalty. When it affects me, but I love it when it affects my enemies. Um, my brother. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. You're the chosen one, genius brother. Don't do anything stupid now. I thought I turned off autosave. Yeah, in between episodes, I turned on autosave, but I guess um, it's forced to stay on for um, Iron Man. I don't know. I don't play a ton of Iron Man, so I'm not hugely informed on its mechanics. Uh, okay, let's go with Unyielding. It does have that moral defense bonus, which is awesome. And let's seek treatment for my illness. Let's go with something that's, yeah. It seems like, yeah, it's the Toad Treatment. Classic. Of course, not, nothing beats the eye gouging treatment, which apparently cures the Black Plague. So, my middle daughter has become a fortune builder. Great. Let's get you married off to my genius brother. I, did I say daughter? I meant my middle sister, I believe. Was that my daughter? No, that, that was my daughter. No, that's my sibling. I'm having some difficulty today. Oh man, another attrition tick? Crap. I should split up my troops before I move over there. But I keep forgetting to do that. Oh jeez. Actually a real possibility that something bad might happen from this. Just, yeah, follow you to Kazwin. Can I follow you to Kremansha? I can, and I will. And then maybe I'll look into moving over back to Azerbaijan and clearing that area. Taking a lot of prisoners, which is amazing. Maybe I'll over... What the crap? Are you serious right now, buddy? Come on, man. Really? Gotta be like that? Just gotta be like that, eh? Alright, well... Bring it on, I guess. Add to the dog pile. Sure, cool. Let's get rid of this. Uh, anything happening over here? Because I'm kind of scared. I think I'm getting close to that time when the Mongols show up. Although I think it's supposed to be in the 1300s, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, someone else has joined the Jihad. It's not really going to matter, unfortunately, because you guys are going to die very soon. 
face it, at 70% war score right now, I don't think you guys really stand a chance. No, you have zero occupation. Oh, awesome, let's go to the organizer. Great, more people joining, but I'm assuming it's just more of your vassals. Um... No... Great, I gained lunatic. Thankfully, it's just attraction and vassal opinion penalty. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. Eh, that's alright. Okay, so the Abbasids are down there with their measly 5,000 troops. Although now would be a good time to attack them before they um, must do any mustering and whatnot. Like a mm, decent amount of mustard in my sandwich, but not a ton. Let's hope I win this, because it was getting a little close in terms of troop size. But yeah, I, I won it decently. Alright, let's uh, follow them down to Kazwin. Take this opportunity to just do as much damage as we can. The crap? Oh, it's because... Ah, oh, jeez. Like one... One occupation. It says, what? It's supposed to be negative 5%, but no, it takes about like 50% of your war score. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Thankfully, the Elvises aren't really making much of an impact, right? Oh, shit. Cancel that. They're making kind of an impact. Yeah, let's just take care of that. I think that should be enough to... Awesome! I gained a brilliant strategist. Love it when that happens. Come on, really? I'll take a river crossing, but I'm more than double what they have now. About almost three times what they have. Ah, crap. Freaking hell. At least no one's joined their side right now. But man, they're so annoying. Okay, Jihad for Persia, over. Thank you. Let me deal with the stupid Abbasids. Please. Get off my case. Let's uh, re-raise. Let's get you guys away. And try to gather up in... The Xandaran or Ray? Which is better? Yeah, Ray is better right now. Alright, let's all gather up there. I think I'll be below my limit. I'm just kind of looking over there on occasion. Just to see if the... Um, the Mongols have landed. Mm, not getting too much traction right now, but maybe I should bribe them while I have the chance. Just in case. Of course, they're starting to take attrition, which is great. And they're not, which is not great. Just sieging down my lands, but it's outside of my... It's outside of your war goal, though, buddy. I mean, are you confused? Do you need a map? Do you need a couple people to point out where Baghdad is for you? Or where uh, the ancient city of Babylon used to be for you? Is that what you need? Um, are you... Okay, you're not coming after me, right? No. Let's... Okay, I think I can actually... Can I avoid river crossing? Okay, shoot. I might need to go down... If I go from... Samara, Kirkuk, Baghdad... Karba... No matter where I come from, it's river crossing. Okay, never mind then. Kinda hoping I'd be able to avoid it somewhat, but I guess not. It's just... Win this battle. Oh, I thought for a second I won it only by losing 196 troops, but nope. Sadly, that was not the case. Um, yeah, Abbasids, I think your army is pretty much like decimated. Sorry, dude. You're 
You're not gonna like this. And I killed one of your commanders too. I guess Paradox is right in that, um... Uh... Disabling broken, shattered retreats does make the game a little easier, but... I think, for the most part, it just kind of saves time. I think that's kind of my favorite feature about it. Let's catch you in Druze. Can I catch you in Druze? I will not. Okay, great. Well, that's, that's it for you, man. You pay me a shit ton of money, you go... not broke, somehow. Whoa, dude, you have a lot of money, man. Holy crap. But let's, in the meantime, try to capture Afghanistan as best as we can. But, right, I need to lower my levy before I can declare war. I'm an idiot. Let us claim Afghanistan. Let us make our way over close to Afghanistan. I wasn't trying to do an accent there, they just kind of like, I don't know what came out of my mouth. Still a syphilitic lunatic, but that's okay. Sorry about that, the game just crashed. Um, which actually hasn't happened in a long time. And it's interesting that it happened after it turned off um, autosave. But I think in Iron Man it autosaves regardless, which is, I guess, a good thing in this case. <laughs> glad it kind of happened. Well, not the crash, but I'm glad it's, you know, continuing to autosave regardless of my decision. Uh, let's bribe some of my people in this stupid, stupid thing. Thankfully, I have a lot of money because I won that, uh, holy war against the, or the Abbasids. I successfully defended myself against the Abbasid holy war. There, it's a better way of phrasing it. I don't need to arrest anyone right now. It's like maybe you for being a troll. Your vassal is concerned about his non-inheriting sons. He asks you to consider him when looking for new vassals. I will not. I will not. Don't be an idiot. Just because you are butthurt about not having lands to give to your sons doesn't mean that I have to do for you. Was I doing something before the game crashed? I legitimately don't remember. Uh, these guys go over there. Uh, so their army is 3,000 strong, which isn't good for them. Good for me, but not for them. <laughs> and of course we beat them to Pamian, so they're taking a mountain penalty. <laughs> I love that. I really do. It's awesome. And I, I won that fight before they could even... What the hell is this? Blooded. Okay, interesting. I won that fight before they can even arrive there. That's hilarious. Really kind of awesome. Let's win this war. My daughter needs a childhood focus. My daughters will always be trained in stewardship, and my sons will always be trained in martial. If this were a different game, if this were a different playthrough where I were playing a different religion, where I wasn't alone, I would. there would be a lot more variety, believe me. But because I'm the only Zoroastrian ruler, um, well, independent Zoroastrian ruler in the known world, it is nigh impossible for me to, you know, be in alliance with other people, hence I don't need to focus on diplomacy or anything like that. Which is why I'm kind of looking forward to, um, trying out different, uh, different religions and different uh, playthroughs, and I think it'd be really interesting to see where all that goes. So I have a lot of culture points, which is actually really good. I don't think I need to go any farther than that. Get some majesty, get some noble customs. 
Imperial administration. You know what? Let's get that. Just for shits and giggles. Can I actually make that? Oh, I need to be an emperor. Okay. So that... Right. Okay, so I can have duchy vice royalties, which should be awesome. But it does lower my feudal vassal opinion by a lot. Ten is fairly significant. I wouldn't say it's like earth shattering, but it is fairly significant. Not gonna lie. I need to seek treatment for my illness. Please, please treat my syphilis. Um, so I ate a cat, and then I didn't get good treatment. Awesome. So you just made me even sicker. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, that's exactly what I needed. For, so for a year, I do have to watch out. Maybe I should change my um, focus to hunting instead. I don't think I need... Yeah. I don't think that one difference in uh, Marshall is going to make that much of a difference. I can press a weak claim. The Sheikdom of Baghdad. A weak claim? Oh, for these guys. Okay. I could, but... Alright, let's seek another treatment. Who died? Someone died. Oh, my uncle died of cancer. Unfortunate. Let's seek treatment for illness. Can you treat me properly this time, please? I know you're a good doctor. The Mongols. Word has reached us that an ambitious Khan before the, uh, beyond the Great Mountains has set out to unite the clans of the Great Steppes. It is said by men who read the stars that this Khan is destined to become ruler of the world. That is nothing you should be worried about. Um, anyways, uh, I got the leech treatment. Awesome. And I just... On that, and I'm actually quite terrified about the Mongols right now. Uh... Let's win this war. And let's get you buried underneath my, um... My duke here. It's unfortunate that I currently don't have any heirs. I will need to find some Why? No, any culture. Don't any yeah. Let's try to find some concubines, because I I'm just kinda scared. Um unless this is actually a good opportunity to die. Have it pass on to my... Can I kill him? Okay, no, not really. I probably could have if he was my direct heir, but... No. Any genius women? No? Okay. Any strong women? Mm, maybe. Any quick women? No. Alright, well, uh... Let's just try to find some... Women to impregnate. Sure, you're, you're decent. Want C, please? Okay, good, thank you. Just no one with congenital traits and whatnot. That'd be fine. I don't want someone who's chaste. Mm, sure, I'll take you. I guess I'll also take you, hunter lady. Great. Okay, how are these guys doing? They're facing a lot of revolts and whatnot, but I'm actually scared about the Mongols right now. <sighs> um, Bohemia? Sure, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Price of Decadence. The ruling dynasty of the Abbasid Sultanate has been overthrown again by the zealous and hard-loving tribesmen of the Nishtun dynasty. Former vassals may take this opportunity to seize land. Great. But if that's the case, that means the Nishtun can now declare war on me if they really wanted to. Not that... Mm. Yeah, I don't think they really... Yeah, maybe not. Hmm. 
This might be a good opportunity to take some land from these guys, though. Oof. Though, again, the Mongols are just kind of terrifying me right now. I know they're coming. And that's what scares me. Uh, let's let him rot. Actually, let's, uh... Cancel that so I can have some... Fun with... Um... Imprisoning people. Let's... Sell some hostages. A lot of hostages. Great. News has reached court that a claimant to my titles, Babak, is hiring men for an attack against me. Again? Really? Come on, man. The Mongols that are, are like knocking at our door and you're trying to just be petty and seek power and shit. Come on, man. Not cool. Just don't do it. I know it's tempting. But you really shouldn't. Did your mom ever tell you, don't be a dick? I had a loss, okay, right, I need to... I need to change the inheritance on that as soon as possible. Primogeniture. Reign for 10 years. 10 years in total, or do I need to have been raiding Afghanistan for 10 years? I don't quite know. If I can... Buy some stuff. Yeah, let's improve castle walls. Considering the potential onslaught of the um, Mongols, let's go with keep upgrade. Yeah, might be best. Otherwise. Alright, you're inviting, inviting me to carouse. Let's just hope you don't start a fight with me. My family lineage seems to be uh, rife with vassals inviting me to their parties and then punching me in the face. Alright, let's get carousing. Is my retinue- yeah, my retinue is fully reinforced, okay. Ah oh, man, to do another count. I should really just write this down. I'm terrible. Wait, I did something wrong there. Yep, I did. Yeah, I think that's all of it. Okay. We've got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We've got 6 and 3. So I need more pikemen. And then I think that's the whole set for 1. So then I need 4 more pikemen. 1, 2, 3, 4. Two more shock, one, two, and one more skirmish. Great. This party needs some action. I'm gonna get undressed, then perhaps, yes, I'll bring some animals in here and maybe, yes, that spear and set that, set fire to that table, roast the food over it, and then where are my pants? All right, I took them off. What now? Ha ha ha, there you are. Oh, ouch, I just sat on the spear. How amusing. I don't know, why is everyone laughing? This is great. Oh wow, I get cheery. I thought it was because I was a lunatic. That's hilarious. <laughs> People like me for that. <laughs> that's hilarious. Wow. I mean, that's a little brief moment of reprieve as the Mongols continue their... <sighs> it's cool to see it right happen right before my eyes, but... Hot damn. Hot damn. I think now would actually be a good time to take over Tabriz and all this. Tigris. Syria. Mosul. Mansha. 
took over they take over Tabriz. Because that is my ancestral land that belongs to me. Let's get my yeah immediate vassals joining in on this awesomeness. Hold on. Why do you have Quivir? Dude. Not cool, man. What the shit? Ah, I hate it when vassals mess up my borders. It's the worst! Love 27,000, which is pretty good. I think that should be more than enough to take care of them for the time being. And of course, my vassals are bitching and moaning that I've taken, taken too many other troops. So yeah, let's go down there. Split these guys up. As long as they're one province away from each other, they should be able to help each other out in case one of them gets attacked. But I just need to keep an eye on that. Make sure I'm not beset by fools. Okay, great. Now I'm suddenly taking attrition. Because I'm... 800 over the supply limit, really? Uh. I have a new son? No, my brother has a new son. My genius brother has a new son. I have several concubines, but still, no son. Yeah, and that should be enough dividing to make sure I, uh, yeah, you know what I mean, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know if I have the time right, but I think I, um, I think last time I, I had the crash at around like 12 minutes, 18 minutes, I don't remember, I really should have checked, but I might be getting close to my uh, time limit for today. Oh, she has dysentery. Ooh, that's not good. Your friend has sent you a gift. It is a small puppy, but of the finest pedigree and destined to grow into a great hunting dog. Yes. I'll name him Tricky this time. Bet you didn't see that coming. You probably did. I, I don't think I'm all that surprising, really. Probably really predictable. So in terms of the time limit thing, I do apologize if I go a few minutes over uh, over the um, 30 hour, 30 hour, oh my god, 30 minute mark, <laughs> 30 hour video. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, it might be a little over time, but hope you guys don't mind. As, as I've said before, I do prefer longer videos over short ones on uh, YouTube. You have to watch out for this guy's eventual, eventual coming. Your dog is growing quick and is no longer quickly and is no longer a little puppy. He runs fast and has a keen nose and your dog handlers praise his good character. Awesome. Castle walls are complete in for Zucrolo. Where are you coming from? Oh twenty-nine thousand. Oof. That's not good. Let's uh, let's try to get some of my troops involved in, or my vassal levies involved in this funness. Get you guys gathered down there. I need to win this war as fast as humanly possible. Thankfully, they're taking some attrition as they're making their way over to my lands. Still can't, uh, they're splitting up their troops, which is good. It's a good thing, it's a good thing. I'm winning some sieges, awesome. If you could just speed this up, that would be fantastic. I really would love to siege it down. Unfortunately, I don't think the supply limit in these lands is enough to, um, 
support my troops all being in the same location at once. Dangerous faction popping up. Of course I do. Where are my counselors and why aren't they helping me make the money? Uh, let's actually... Oh, right. That's my rival. He doesn't like me. At all. So. How do I get you killed, my friend? How do I get you killed? Why didn't we become rivals? It actually might have been from one of that introducing your heir to the realm thing and then just randomly become a rival to someone's kid and then he's that kid and I'm that heir. So we'll leave it off here for now and we'll come back in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and have a good breakfast.